Kitty X Smart 3 running right back over there in the corner. Had some questions uh, from some of my viewers. Uh, what do you think of it? You've had it for a while. Is it any good? Yes, it is. And it's fast and it's accurate. Again, the only uh, downside to it is I can't use Cura, or at least I have not found or been able to develop a right kind of profile using Cura, so I have to use the uh, Kitty software, slicing software. It works fine. I mean, there's no problem with it. I just when I'm setting up all my other printers and setting up files, it would be nice to just use the same program for everything. But otherwise, I've run several spools of filament through it. I've made a lot of stuff with it, and it has worked just flawlessly. It was previously over here behind me on this table, but because this is so fast, it needs to be on a very, very stable surface, because if I had it running over here, I could not run my TiVo at the same time because it would shake the table like this a little bit and then mess up the print on the other printer. So therefore I moved it over here where one of my other printers used to set. I would just do the printer rotation and I've got the big longer LK5 now in my laser room over yonder and we use it on the table back there. So let me take you here. We'll go a little bit portable. I'll show you the difference between just between the TiVo and the Kitty because I have both of those running at the same time right now. I started them almost at the same time and they're making the exact same parts. Well one of the things I like about this is this little screen right on the front here which actually shows you your part, it shows you your temperatures. Of course other printers have the uh, temperatures and so on displayed too. This also gives the elapsed time and the time expected it's going to take to finish the project. And I am printing the same thing on this kitty as I am on my TiVo Tarantula Pro which I'll show you in a minute. So my uh, time to go here is 2 hours and 46 minutes, got 14 minutes into it, it's roughly a 3 hour print. Give you a little bit of a look on the inside here to see how fast this thing operates. Now we'll go over to the TiVo, which is printing the exact same thing. Okay, here we are in the TiVo Tarantula Pro. It's printing, as I said, it's printing the exact same file. The difference is that the, the Kitty is going to take three hours to print this, and this one is going to take a little over six. And the TiVo is actually faster than the Enders. The Enders would probably be about a seven hour print for this file. I'll give you a little update here. It's been a while since I did the first portion of this video, so you can see how far along the uh, TiVo Tarantula Pro is here with these parts. Now I'll go over and show you how far along the uh, Kitty is. So here's the difference, and as you can see, this is uh, about twice as far into the print. So I am impressed with this printer. And we are one hour and 28 minutes into it, and this one still has two hours and two minutes to go. So as you can see, the XSmart 3 and the race to get these parts printed is winning by a long shot. And it'll come out just fine, it'll be accurate. Uh, again, I have no real complaints about the printer, I like it. So another question I've had is, have you run ABS through it? I have not because I don't print anything in ABS. I have run TPU through it to make some items and it, it works just fine for that. You just gotta play around a little bit with your temperatures to get things just right and it kind of depends on uh, what you're trying to make. Otherwise, a uh, little update on the Kitty X Smart 3. Again, not sponsored here. This isn't sponsored by anybody. I'm just giving you an update on how it works. So, if you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. Always helps the channel. I'm Roger in the loft above the shop. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.